hand in there like we showed you. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I bet. 111, you ready? I think Jimmy's a survivor, really, and he's starting to flourish. Jimmy's storyline is, is so great. I mean, how can you not love Jimmy? Everybody loves Jimmy. We're with the Yellowstone. No one's gonna mess with us. My knowledge of Jimmy also starts in the trailer when Rip comes to get him. You Jimmy. Jimmy's given one last chance by John Dutton to sort of straighten out, but it doesn't come easy. Let's go, kick him. <laughs> Being low man. Low man is what turns you into cowboys. And they can one too. Now, Jimmy manages to mess everything up once or twice. Give me the enemy the rifle. Oh, you said you were gonna grab the rifle. Oh. Yeah, Jimmy's one of my favorite characters on the show. Help me! How good a friend is this son of a bitch? It's almost like Rip and Walker and Jimmy have the most in common of just being like these orphan type characters that get adopted by Yellowstone. Cows can swim. Yeah, I can't. I don't know how to swim, man. Do you know how to shut the fuck up? Well, as you know, I mean, Rip is one of those tough love guys when it comes to Jimmy. But they can't eat when it freezes? Jimmy, quit asking fucking questions. Go put it back. Get on the horse, Jimmy. Jimmy, quit looking at fish. This is Saturday. I know what fucking day it is, Jimmy. I know what fucking day it is, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm constantly cursing at poor... <laughs> I wonder which one's his mama. Gee, I fucking wonder, Jimmy. This cowboy as he gets right there, Jimmy. But Jimmy comes to Rip and, you know, basically I say to him, look, these guys, they just work here, Jimmy. You'll see a thousand of them come and go, but not us. This is your family. We're your family. But I think if anyone believed in him enough to teach him and to spend that time and energy with him, he's a pretty quick learner. No, so there was Casey, and there was Jamie, and now I've got Jimmy. And I think I'm part of everybody's growing up process on the ranch. Keep riding! Ah! <laughs> you hear a winner. Rip, you see that? Eight seconds! Yeah, Jimmy, I saw. I think Jimmy, because he doesn't have much family, I think he's looking for father figures to some extent. There's a bucking horse fraternity at the fairground. Sitting a bucking horse is the only thing I've seen you do well. Maybe that's your talent, Jimmy. And I think that's what comes to happen between him and Lloyd, is Lloyd sticks around, and that means the world to Jimmy. How much does it cost to enter? I'll spot you. Why would you do that? Why do you think? So I think for Jimmy, it's tremendously meaningful for Lloyd to take the time and energy to try to teach him. It's like a mechanical bull or something that I could try first. It's, just... <laughs> it's gratifying, you know, hey, I get to share some of my wisdom with Jimmy. Okay, stick your chest out, tuck your chin. Jake, pull it. Jimmy's journey thus far has been about how much can he take and stick with it. Every other opportunity he's had in his life, he's sort of squandered and quit and run away from. And this is sort of his last chance, and it's really about whether or not he has it in him to become someone who can live in this world. Hey, you just won, cowboy. So what, what do I do now? Now, I don't think Jimmy's ever won anything in his whole life. I don't think he's ever been good at anything in his whole life. He never had a chance. <laughs> And so that belt buckle comes to represent this new life and like a foothold in this new life, like some recognition of the effort that he's made. It's just a beautiful thing for Lloyd, I think. He's kind of like the son I never had. What's wrong? Not a thing. It kind of helps keep Lloyd grounded, you know, that relationship. You know, and of course, Jimmy is now a tough guy. He's, he's a badass. Okay, so just to clarify, Colby's mom, that's a cougar? <laughs> and they're just, we're sort of playing off of each other all the time. And you know, he brings so much joy to the show. And you feel for Jimmy, because you know what that would probably feel like, not knowing any of this stuff and then just having to learn it, you know, the hard way. What's next? <laughs>